so today today we will study the chapter number 17 the star and the solar system so in this lecture what we have studied what do we mean by star and what are the parts of solar system and what are why star twinkle but planets do not twinkle and phases of the moon and the what the surface of the moon is so we will study this topic in the chapter number 17 so pahli and bujo pahli and bujo visited their grandparents village during summer break so pahli and bujo both they go to uh, their grandparents village during the summer break so when summer break comes so pahli and bujo they go to their grandparents home during the summer break and after dinner they went on the roof of the house and after doing a dinner they went to the roof of the house as shown in the figure pahli and bujo they on the roof of the house to a clear cloudless night so at that time there was very clear night night so when bujo and pahli goes to their grandparents village and they go to the roof of their houses it was very cloudless night so this is very clear night when they go the house of their grandparents they were surprised to see a large number of so when they were looking into the sky they saw bright stars so these are the bright stars and they were very surprised and they had never seen such a beautiful thing in their city so they said that it was a very beautiful scene so this is the night nice sky pehli aur bujo pehli aur bujo apne grandparents ke home aur ghar pe jate hain summer break pe और वो रूप पे वो क्या दिखते हैं बिल्कुल क्लियर नाइट है और ऐसा क्लियर नाइट सीन दे हैव नेवर सीन सो पहली वंडर वाई द विलेज स्काई वाज सो डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द नाइट स्काई स्काई इन द बिग सिटी सो स्काई इन द बिग सिटी इट इज very different from the sky in the village so it is very different how it is different her great for the explain that due to bright light smoke and dust sky in big city is rarely clear there are lots of smoke there are lots of dust so due to these smoke la dust pollution is created so due to these smoke and dust sky in the big city is not clear so night a nice sky watching can be fascinating experience at a place where there are no bright lights and so pehli and bujo see a place where there are so many bright 
bright stars in the sky and it look at the sky on a dark clear night you see the entire sky dotted with countless stars so there are so many stars there are countless stars and some bright bright so some stars are bright and some stars are bright so we the these stars we can see to all of them we are to think so is all stars some stars twinkle and some stars uh, some objects which look like star but they are star शाइन करते हैं लेकिन कुछ स्टार ऐसे होते हैं वो स्टार जलाते हैं नहीं करते एंड दे आर प्लेनेट बट दे शाइन तो इन विच पहली एंड सो मैनी स्टार्स and some some are not shining so that the the objects which are known that are four planets pehli wonder why the village sky is different because in the city and the focus sky is not clear so it is clear so in the sky what we have seen stars as well as planets so object which do twinkle they are called planets the object which twinkle they are called star and the this do not twinkle are called planets the moon is the brightest object in the night sky so it is our moon it is the brightest object so it is the brightest object in the sky so it is the brightest object in the sky and the moon and many other objects in the sky they are called celestial objects so what are celestial objects star planets and the moon and many objects they are in the sky so these are celestial objects so the other moon star planets and other objects in the sky these are called celestial objects so these are called celestial objects so you have to remember ki raat ko hame jo cities mein ye sky clear clear kyun nahi nazar aata kyunki sky mein kya hota hai cities mein dust aur smoke hota hai aur dust aur smoke ki wajah se city ka jo sky hai wo clear nahi hota aur village ka sky kyun clear hota hai kyunki isme star kyunki is wahan pollution kam hota hai and in the in the sky which objects are present moon it is the brightest part of the sky some stars and some planets the object which twinkle are called stars are the objects which do not twinkle are called planets and these are the moon star planet and another objects in the sky they are called celestial objects so these are called celestial objects are these celestial objects similar are these objects similar so you have you have to find the objects are similar or not to study this topic firstly we will know about the moon so what what do you mean by moon it is the brightest part of the sky so 
what is the activity 17.1 observe the moon continuously for several nights so you have to do activity and what are the activity you have to go for some nights and you have to observe the moon so what we have to observe moon in the night you have to observe moon preferably from the full moon to the next so we will study what do you mean by full moon to the next make a sketch of the moon every night in your notebook note from the day of full moon also note every day the part of the sky in which moon is seen so you have to draw this activity you have to do this activity so this paheli is doing activity what is that activity she is drawing the shape of the moon every night so on the suppose on the first day it is full moon so shape is full moon so suppose on the last day it is in the shape so it is drawn so you have to draw the different shape of the moon in our notebook so you have to do this activity at night hame copy pe jo moon ki shape hai usko daily note karna hai aur us shape ko humne copy pe draw karna hai this is our full moon so is there a change in the shape of moon every day yes there on every day there is a change in shape of the moon so suppose on the first day it is full moon then again shape is changing then again shape is changing so every day the shape is changing are these days when the shape of the moon appears to be perfectly round so you have to observe so the are these day when the shape of the moon appears to be perfectly round so you have to observe on which day it is perfectly round are these day when the moon cannot be seen at all if the sky is clear so you have to draw the different shapes of the moon in your notebook and you have to note down on which day full shape of the moon appears perfectly round are these days when the moon cannot be seen at all even if the sky is clear sometime the sky is clear but moon cannot seen kai bar aise hota hai ki moon perfectly round hota hai aur kai bar clear night pe bhi hame moon nazar nahi aata yes the day on which whole disk of the moon is visible it is called full moon day so it is our full moon day when whole disk of the moon is visible so suppose this is our moon when whole disk is available on day this is called full moon day jis din humme bilkul moon bilkul circle nazar aayega bilkul round nazar aayega this day is called full moon day so you have to observe which is full moon day the day on which the moon is visible thereafter every night the size of the bright part of the moon appears to become thinner and thinner so as suppose on the first day it is full moon and after some time after some days It, it the shape its thickness is going less so it is going thin jaise jaise aage time badhega full moon se iski thickness kya hoti jayegi kam and on the 15 day on the 15 day 
द मून इज नॉट विजिबल फिफ्टीन डे आफ्टर फिफ्टीन डेज द मून इज नॉट विजिबल एंड दिस डे इज कॉल्ड न्यू मून डे तो आई विल शो विद हेल्प ऑफ पिक्चर्स विच इज फुल मून डे एंड विच इज विच इज द फुल मून डे एंड सपोज दिस इज अवर पोजिशन ऑफ द मून and this is when moon is when moon is completely visible so it is completely round so this shape is this is called full moon so this is this is called our full moon so again showing in the pictures what do we mean by full moon so the day on which the moon is visible it is called full moon day it is shown in the pic so on the 15 days suppose suppose this is our full moon this is our full moon full moon day and after that the thickness is going down thickness is going down and then at that time moon disappear at that time moon disappear and this is called our new moon this is called new moon day and this cycle occurs after 15 days suppose it is our full moon it is our full moon and after some days its thickness is going down and after 15 days after 15 days its moon is not visible and this is called new moon day this is called new moon day hame sabse pehle hame full moon nazar aayega isko hum bolenge full moon aur jaise jaise moon kya hoga iski iska jo shape mein change ho rahi hai aur wo bahut patla hota ja raha hai aur ek time aayega yahan pe 15 days baad moon hame dikhna band ho jayega aur isko kya bolenge hum new moon day after 15 days it is new moon day and it is full moon day so you have to know down which is which is full moon day and which is which is the when moon appears when moon disappear then this is called new moon day and after these 15 day small portion of the moon appears and this is called crescent moon so this is called crescent moon after that the moon grow and on the 15 day once again we get a full view of the moon and these are called phases of the moon so i will show with the help of this picture so this is suppose it is full moon and this is when our moon disappear this is called new moon and this is full moon and after that moon grow iske baad kya hoga 15 days ka cycle hai yahan pe and after 15 day moon grow hona start ho jayega fir thoda aur grow hoga fir then thoda aur grow hoga फिर दोबारा फिर इस इसके बाद कितना होगा ये पूरा फुल मून बन जाएगा एंड इट इज अ साइकिल ऑफ अप्रोक्सीमेट ट्वेंटी नाइन डेज तो इट इज अ कंप्लीट साइकिल ऑफ ट्वेंटी नाइन डेज एंड दिस इज अवर फुल मून एंड दिस इज अवर न्यू मून एंड दिस इज अवर क्रीसेंट मून This is our crescent moon. So, जब moon की हल्की हल्की shape आनी start हो जाती है this is called crescent moon. And it is a cycle of twenty approximate twenty nine days. And you have to remember, and these are called phases of the moon. So these are these all are phases of the moon. So these all shapes of the moon are called phases of the moon so these all are of are phases of the moon 
so various shape of the bright part of the moon during a month it is called phases of the moon suppose and what do you mean by the uh, crescent moon after full moon day a small portion appears in the sky this is called crescent moon and what do you mean by new moon so on the day when moon is not visible this is called new moon day when moon is not visible then this is called new moon day and what are the phases of the moon so various shape of the bright parts of the moon when various shape of the bright parts of the moon it is called phases of the moon and what is the time period between full moon day and next full moon day suppose ek moon pura pehle grow hua fir dheere dheere disappear hoga fir bilkul disappear ho jayega fir grow hoga fir dobara full moon lane mein kitne days lagenge 20 approximately 29 days it will take 29 days 12 hours and something it have some seconds so it will take approximate 29 days so in some calendars this is counted as month and this is also known as lunar month so this is also known as lunar month so when full moon appears and after 29 days approximate 29 days this appear again and then this time period is no counted as month jab ek bar hamara full moon nazar aayega aur 29 days ke baad fir dobara jab nazar aayega usko hum ek one month count karte hain kai calendars mein and isko hum kya kai bar bolte hain this is called lunar month this is sometime known as lunar month and next question is why moon is changing shape so why moon is taking different phases so what is the answer why moon is changing its shape so firstly you have to know as we discuss in the chapter number 16 moon has no its light as we know star has its light sun has its light but moon has moon does not have its light moon ki apni light nahi hoti so how can we see moon so how can we see moon when sunlight falls on the moon with the help of these reflected rays we can see the moon so again i'm showing suppose this is picture this is our sun this is sun and then when sunlight is incident on the moon and this is earth when sunlight jo hai moon ke upar incident hoti hai और जब ये रिफ्लेक्ट होके यहाँ आती है इसकी वजह से हम आर्ट पे हम इसको मून को देख पाते हैं तो हाउ कैन बी सी दिस मून ड्यू टू रिफ्लेक्टेड लाइट फ्रॉम द सन जस्ट सनलाइट इसके ऊपर इंसिडेंट होती है आर्ट के ऊपर दिस इज आर्ट दिस इज सॉरी दिस इज सो दिस इज आवर आर्ट दिस इज आर्ट again i am showing so this is our earth this is sun and this is our this is our moon when sunlight falls on the moon it reflects and this reflected light with the help of this reflected light we can see the moon why moon is visible due to reflected sunlight so moon has moon does not has its own light we therefore only see that part of the moon from which 
light of the sun is reflected towards us so how can we see the moon from the reflected light of the sun from the reflected light of the sun so we will understand why it is changing its shape so i will explain with the help of activity 17.2 so what is the activity 17.2 take a big ball or a pitcher ya to ek ball lo aur ya ek ghada lo and paint half of it with the white and black one portion is black and second portion is white then you go out on the playground with two of your friends and then you will go to the play this playground and you draw a circle so you are drawing the circle he is drawing the circle as shown in the pic pic, uh, pic 17.4 he is drawing the circle and of radius 2 meter which radius is taking 2 meter we are drawing the circle of radius 2 meter and then we are dividing into eight equal parts so we are dividing the circle into eight parts stand at the center of the circle so the picture is showing so we have to stand at the center of the circle and this is ball which is half painted with black and half painted with a uh, white color if you are asked her to keep the white portion of the ball towards the uh, towards the sun then you have to ask your friend so ask your friend to take this circle towards the sun so you have to take the black for this portion so you have to keep the white portion of the ball towards the sun jo uska white portion hai usko hamesha humne kahan rakhna hai sun ki taraf you have isko white portion ko humme kahan rakhna hai sun ki taraf next is if you are performing this activity in the morning suppose you are doing this activity in the morning white portion is we have to keep white portion towards east so you have to uh, go into the east to the brighter part and if you are doing activity in the afternoon then it is towards the west agar hum ye activity afternoon mein kar rahe hain to hame white portion ko hame west ki taraf rakhna hai agar hum ye activity agar hum kahan kar rahe hain hum मॉर्निंग में कर रहे हैं तो बॉल को हमने कहा रखना है ईस्ट की तरफ सो नाउ इन ईस्ट केस द लाइन जॉइनिंग द व्हाइट एंड ब्लैक पोर्शन इज कैप वर्टिकल सो दिस लाइन शुड बी कैप वर्टिकल इसको हमेशा सीधा रखना है यू हैव टू कैप दिस लाइन वर्टिकल स्टैंडिंग एट द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल observe the visible white portion of the ball with your friend uh, with your friend stands at the point on the circle marked earlier so she is standing at the center of the circle observe the visible white portion of the ball so you have to see the visible white portion of the ball when your friend stands at the point uh, suppose he, she is standing here on the circle mark earlier and draw a shape so if you which part is seen so you have to order and you have to note down then draw the shape of the white portion as you see, uh, as you see it and compare your drawing with the different phases of the moon so it will similar हमने डिफरेंट फेजेस ऑफ द मून हमने कैसे ड्रॉ करनी है सपोज सनलाइट है हमारी इंसिडेंट हो रही है सनलाइट के आगे ही हमने बिल्कुल व्हाइट पोर्शन को रखना है बोल को 
और ये देखेगी कि वाइट पोर्शन कैसा दिखाई दे रहा है ये अलग अलग पोजीशन पे जाएगी अलग अलग पोजीशन पे जाने के बाद वो नोट करेगी कौन सा वाइट पोर्शन कितना विजिबल है और उसको कॉपी में नोट करेगी सपोज पहले हमें पूरा विजिबल है फिर उसके बाद ऐसे विजिबल है फिर उसके बाद ऐसे विजिबल है तो सारी पोजिशन को वो कॉपी में नोट करेगी और वो किसी से मिला रहेगी डिफरेंट फेजेस ऑफ द मून so these are similar to the phases of the moon so these all are these these all are these this all are phases of the moon so these all are phases of the moon as we know moon it revolves around the earth so you have to remember moon revolves around the earth and earth earth also it or also uh, also revolves around the sun so the picture is showing here so moon revolves around the earth and sun it also rotates around the sun so this earth is rotating and moon is rotating so moon also rotates around the earth and earth rotates around the sun so moon kiske charon rotate kar raha hai earth ke aur earth kaise rotate kar rahi hai sun ke so our next is can you now guess the relative position of the sun moon and the earth of the day of the full moon and on the day of new moon so you have to guess the relative position of the sun so you have to know the position of the sun and moon and the earth when full moon occurs and when no new moon occurs sketch this position in your notebook the side of the illuminated part of the moon visible from the earth increases every day after the new moon day suppose new moon day aayega when a new moon day pe bilkul disappear ho jayega but a new moon uske baad uska jo bright part hai moon ka increase hoga bright part is increasing after the new moon day and after the full moon day after this new moon day then full moon day comes and after full moon day sunlight part of the moon visible from the earth it is decreasing as we discussed so i have heard that we never see the black side of the moon from the earth is it true so ye different phases kyu banti hai hamari moon ki ye different phases kyu ban rahi hai jaise sunlight is kyu coincident karegi moon ke upar तो जो मून का ब्राइट पार्ट है अगर हमारे फेस पे हमारे फेस पे मून लाइट इंसिडेंट कर रही है तो हमारा फेस ही विजिबल होगा तो जिस पार्ट पे भी सनलाइट इंसिडेंट होगी वहीं पे मून विजिबल होगा अदरवाइज मून विजिबल नहीं होगा तो हम मून के एक ही पार्ट को देख पाते हैं पूरा पार्ट नहीं देख सकते जहां पे भी सपोज लाइट यहाँ इंसिडेंट कर रही है मून की तो हम यही पार्ट देख पाएंगे पीछे वाला पार्ट नहीं देख सकते so these are different phases of the moon so you have to remember uh, what is the what are the phases of the moon and moon revolves around the earth and earth revolves around the sun and what is full moon day what is new moon day and what are crescent moon so we will study the activity 17.3 in the next lecture so this is the activity 17.2 what is the activity 17.2 we are drawing different shape of the moon how can we draw different shape of the moon we are taking ball half colored with white and half colored with black you have to remember it is kept in the sunlight bright part is kept under sunlight and when she is changing the position and you have this this is uh, this curl is observing 
the bright part of this bowl and she is drawing the different parts of the bowl and these are phases of the moon so these are phases of the moon so this is the picture and how can we see these moon this moon is visible when sunlight incident on this moon then reflected ray comes and due to this reflected ray moon is visible suppose in the night raat ko hi hame moon dikhta hai ye kyun dikhta hai this is sunlight due to reflected light of the sun we can see this moon so if you have any query regarding this topic 